Welcome back to another FIFA 17 Rose Glory episode. As you can see, our team there. We did the weekend league qualifier in the previous episode, but I went out on Saturday to Oxford. Didn't really have enough time to upload this video earlier. Just wanted to grind out all of our weekend league games over the weekend. Only playing on this Road to Glory account. And here we have the results, pretty much. So we're going into the first game. Pretty decent team. So if you've seen the first episode, you'll see we switched to 4-2-3-1 with the cams in-game. Which is a pretty solid formation. And the reason why I do this is we need to close out. We need to hold possession. And we've always got a good chance of winning games. And there we go. Theo Walcott scoring a goal. We actually play him up tops. I was going to play him on the right or left. But he seems to work really well as a strike. We need that pace, of course. Harry Kane just in behind us a cam. And yeah, it does work really well. We've got the mixture of physicality from the Spurs side. And then the technical ability, you might say, with the Arsenal lads. So Welbeck getting the goal. We do a driven pass across. Absolutely banging. First game, like, it's so sick to have that feeling just winning the first game. Getting it done out of the way. It's high-pressure stuff. There's no doubt about it. It's sweaty, sweaty games. One win, 39 matches left. Give him a fair walk up that cheeky contract. And he's got the Marksman Chem style. He seems to be working really well with that Marksman Chem style. Up in the physicality, dribbling, shooting. Now, the reason why I didn't go for Sniper just up in dribbling and shooting is if you look on Foothead, which I definitely recommend if you're looking at what chemistry styles are best for each player. So the Marksman Chem style does add shooting, not three bars. Like, you can't really tell from just the game. It adds two bars, um, whereas the Sniper adds three. But what those two bars add are like long shot and shot power, whereas the Sniper doesn't add long shot and shot power. And he happens to have not that, not that great long shots and not that great shot power. So Marksman working the best for him. We're just opening up all of our manager awards, I think. We get contracts, we get a Chem style. Second game, lads, up against Westminster FC. And it's a bit of a rough start, I'll be honest. Not the best defending. Nice play, I have to say. Good reactions there to get the ball across. 1-0 down. I'm so bad at getting back from 1-0 down. It just gets in my head. And then we get that. Like, I was so salty. And then I switched formation, 4-3-1-2. I was just thinking, we're not really creating enough chances. Because the 4-2-3-1 doesn't really create that much. And then we can see another AIDS goal. I lost my head at this point. I think we bring on Hadji or Hoggy or whatever. The legend lad uh, on loan. Uh, who we got in one of our loan packs, I think, in the first episode, of course. We get one goal back. And we're thinking at this point, you know, it's possible. It's possible. And then Aaron Ramsey goes and bangs it as well. It's definitely possible at this point. 61st minute. And then we choked that chance. And I was so salty because I knew. And that one as well. I knew that that was going to be huge. And we ended up losing the game. A little bit unfortunate there. Should be taking my chances. I basically just dragged the analog stick with the Walcott chance. Um, but yeah, we've got to be we've got to be winning those. But nonetheless, you know, it's not the best team in the world. I did definitely rage at the time. But you've got to get past it. And just keep going, of course. Sophia Walcott cutting in. Cutting back outside. Beautiful bit of play. I think that's Larice in goal making that bang and save. Deli Ali Ospino with the save as well. In the first episode, I didn't really know what to do with the team. Ospino was the first player that we bought. And then we changed it to the Arsenal Tottenham Road to Glory. He's just such a beast. Like, we ended up just getting him randomly just for 1,000 coins. But he's actually turned up. A lot of these clips, when I've been looking back, he just pulls off a bang and saves. Now, there... I pressed X and it felt so delayed because when I pressed X, he was outside the box. And then when I actually initiated the slide tackle, you might say, it was in the penalty box. And of course, that's a penalty. So 1 1. He's causing a threat. Ospina quick off his line there. Really good uh, shot stopper in general. It's got to be said. Harry Kane, left peg, just wide. I think Hugo Lloris had that covered anyway. But nonetheless, lovely. Look. I think that's actually a, um, a body feint. He does like a little flick forward and then tucks it home. Fear Walcott with that pace. He's always got a good chance. That's the thing. He's already got the pace. You add for Marksman, he's good at shooting as well. Harry Kane finishes him off with a cheeky chip. I mean, I hate to do that. 3-1. Third game out of the way. Not too bad at the moment. Uh, actually, no. Hang on. Did I miss a game? I swear I've missed a game. I think that's three wins now. And we've, we've only seen three games and we've lost one of them. I think I might, I, I think one of the recordings might not have, uh, we might not have seen. But nonetheless, Theo Walcott, banging that. Absolute bang. Finesse shot. And then look at that save by Ospina. The reason he's actually able to save that 
I was thinking this exactly at the time as well. It's because the ball is bobbled and volley, like, to get a good volley, you need to have a lot more power on the ball. And I think he's just not got that much power on the shot. So, Ospina has been able to save. So, as much as I'd like to say, that was a banging, banging save. I think it's because of that. Lovely save by his keeper there. I think we bring on Bia Biani, who's also on loan. And he just can't put in an, he can't put it in an open net. Pretty shocking stuff. Wani Ammo. Sean Wise in the team. Physical stuff. Sissoko. Wani Ammo wins it back. Absolute beast in that CDM slot. Slots it in. Sissoko tucks it home. Decent, decent stuff. And then we get the W again. So what is that? Is that... Okay, so five wins. For, yeah, we, I think we must have missed a game. Five wins. 34 matches left. So five wins, one loss. At this point, I would definitely take that. We get rid of Holding. And we get Gabriel. I was going to go for Mustafi. But I think with an anchor chem star, which I wanted on him... Or just uh, standard or whatever. I was trying to sell holding. Wouldn't sell in time. Just had to get him. We'll, we'll go with Gabriel for now, you know. He's not too shabby. But then we come up against this team. Literally the Bayern and also Dortmund, of course, with uh, Usman Dembele. Front three. Absolutely banging. Danny Welbeck down this left-hand side. Chance to cut back. He does. Fia Walker. It actually takes a deflection there. That's the thing. You've got to take the cheesy goals when they come around. It's so annoying when it happens against you. Pretty dead game. Once again, 4 2 3 1. Been able to see him out for a lot of a game. And this is the one chance he gets. Like, you've always got to be alert. There's always a bit of bollocks that can happen in a game. I always say to myself, like, try and score at least two goals because there's always a chance he's going to get, like, one AIDS goal. And of course, we get it there. Harry Kane blocked. It's a stalemate. It really is. We're into extra time. Three shots apiece, I think. And it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It is a stalemate all the way through. Like, what can you even do in these games? I don't even know. With the 4-2-3 on formation, we're not creating enough chances. Sissoko saying goodbye to his legs. It had to be done. Red card for Musa Sissoko. Obviously, 120th minute. Doesn't even matter. I just thought, might as well take his legs. And then we go into penalty shootout. Always tense. I do not like the penalty shootouts one bit. Sane tucking it home. Ospina, not the best. Pjanic, who we actually brought on. Um, I think he's another lone player. Down the middle. <sighs> it's tense. Where's he going? I don't even know. Lewandowski. Oh, yeah, that's a good... That's actually pretty sick. Like, if you go left, obviously, you've got a chance of saving it if it goes right or in the middle. You could argue that that is possibly one of the best things to do. Just stand on the left and then dive it. And then you could have a chance of saving it if it goes middle or slightly to the right. I have to try out some sort of theory of a penalty shootout. Nonetheless, Enkadu. Penalty saved. Not the best. Renato Sanchez. I don't know. I just sort of read that. I don't really know. I think I was just in his headspace at that point. I think it's something to do with... I often do the headspace uh, penalty shootout sort of mind games with just like standing there. Sometimes I dive across. Sometimes I stand there. In that case, he just misses it. He freaking missed it. What is he doing? Six wins. 33 matches left. It's coming towards the end. Of this episode, of course. And then we come up against this banging team. So I'm going to try and format these episodes by having 10 games every single episode, of course. He gets a decent chance there. This is really one of those games where I've got a solid defense. He's got a solid defense. Who's going to make that mistake? And you could argue that is definitely a mistake. Like, that is poor defending. Ospina, though, coming out to save me there. One Ayama gives it across. Aaron Ramsey, decent block by him. There's something about these. It's almost like... Um, I don't know, like Nazi zombies just trying to survive as long as you can. There's something about defending which, in a way, is kind of fun. But in the moment, it's, it's tense. It's, you can't really think about having fun on this game when, when you're in foot champs. Because there's just so much at stake. Enkaduvo, 84th minute, gets it across Fia Walcott. Tucking it home on his left peg. That is GG. Pretty lucky, I have to say, to be honest. He produced a lot of chances that game. Just not quite taking it. And it is what it is. Fear Walcott, decent block by his defender. Danny Wolves is a driving force. He really is. He's got a lot of strength and all the rest of it. Give it across to Fear Walcott. Takes a touch. Tight angle there. Gets it right in the corner. Very impressed by Fear Walcott. Uh, and then another chance here. This was a really dead game. And 4-2-3-1. Four, four, no, four, you need to make sure that you're taking your chances. And we took two chances, pretty much. We had six shots, yes, but... I'm pretty sure those are like the only two chances we created. They had no shots though. Uh, two decent chances anyway. They had no shots in the first half. You've always got to be on alert when he's got freaking Ronaldo up top. And he does eventually 
break me open there, of course. He almost gets a goal. If he passes that across, I think um, my left back or my centre back just back gets that. He had one shot. Look at that possession as well. It's the only way to beat better teams, in my opinion. Just hold the ball. As much as you think, yeah, we could just sit back and defend. The, in, my, in my opinion, the best way to defend on this game is by having the ball. Because if somebody's so good at skilling and sort of outthinking you, then as long as you're on the ball, they can't really do much, of course. So Harry Kane gets a ball across. Danny Welbeck tucking it home. Decent start, 26 minutes. It just feels so good to get the first goal. It really does. I think 80% for me... I'm always tempted to say a statistic like 80% of games which I go 1-0 down in, I will lose. And vice versa. Uh, but Fia Walcott knocking it on. Danny Well, I mean, I can't really be... I can't really be taking too much pride in that goal. It's a bit of an age one. Danny Welbeck, always a physical presence. But nonetheless, look at these stats. I'm pretty consistent in terms of creating more chances and holding the ball. He could have scored there. If he scores there, he's back in the game. Harry Kane, front post. I realised that he just wasn't marking me. He just didn't want to mark me at all. So I just did it again. Just thought, well, if, if, yeah, if you're not going to mark me, I might as well just take two. And Harry Kane, I love the look of that. The dink over the keeper. With the outstretched hand, just trying to get that. But uh, you're not saving that. You are not saving that. Cheeky. Very cheeky stuff, of course. And then, 81st minute. Just to rub the salt in the wounds. Danny Welbeck down the left-hand side. Pass it across. Fia Walcott. GG's. And then he gets salt. Like, what? I couldn't tell whether his controller disconnected or whether he did just purposely walk into goal. I'm guessing the latter, of course. Um, so, yeah. Nine wins, one loss, not too bad. Pretty solid start. 30 matches left, of course. So thanks for watching, lads. If you want to see this series continue, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Check out the previous video. Should be on screen right about now. I'll try and do like a... Yeah, on my hand. That'll be banging. All right. Thanks for watching, lads. In a bit. You little says.